Hey, what is up? It is your friendly neighborhood, Matt, and I am hanging out today at Macomb Community College. It's a beautiful day here in southeastern Michigan. We're in Warren, Michigan, and I am going to take you on a real-time tour of Macomb College South Campus, and I can't wait to do it because there's been a lot of updates if you haven't been here recently. If you're new to the college, or if you haven't been here in a while, or maybe you just wanted to see some of the facilities here that you have access to, uh, I'm gonna show you around and uh, show you a little bit of what we have going on here. Now, right now, I'm kind of at the front of the college, but behind me here, if I can uh, get my remote working here, this is kind of cool because uh, across the street, this is kind of a pathway to Wayne State University. So if you look over here, my uh, camera's going a little crazy right now. That's actually Wayne State University. That's kind of an off-site campus where they have some classes. And this is kind of a bridgeway. You can see Macomb Community College leading into Wayne State. So we've got some really great programs where we are able to move from one college to another. So a lot of times students start at Macomb, uh, they get their two-year degree here, and then they can transfer to Wayne State University, uh, Michigan State University, University of Michigan, of course, CCS, which is the uh, Creative College uh, uh, of Studies. And um, anyway, sorry about all the noise. We're gonna move away from the uh, busy 12 mile road right now, and we are gonna hang out and take a look around campus, come on. So it's a beautiful day here and it's actually the first day of classes in the fall. Summer's wrapping up and it's a, the beginning of a new academic year. Very exciting. And uh, I'm gonna show you around. So this first area that we're going into, this courtyard is surrounded by a bunch of buildings and there's a bunch of different programs that we have in here. For example, turn this around here so I can see what we're looking at. Um, for example, um, this is where you can go to register in person. Um, gosh, I should know what's in all of these buildings. <laughs> I really don't. But uh, I think this is where some of the accounting classes are. And um, I know some of the art classes in fine art are over in C building over here. And um, yeah, it's just beautiful. This is beautiful. A lot of times you'll see students just hanging out in uh, just sitting in the grass, reading, doing their homework, studying. And uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful campus. It's a great place to learn. Absolutely wonderful. So we're gonna walk over here, show you around. Sure. <laughs> you open the door. You open the door. How are you guys doing today? We're good. What are awesome. We to? Uh, well, you're talking to Matt Bush. I am a uh, oh, full-time uh, instructor in media and communication arts, yes, I and I just I wanted to do a real-time tour and kind of show everyone yes, around yeah. the campus. You know, you guys might be able to help me. I actually don't know. I should know what all of these buildings are. Yeah. At, like, is registration still over here? Is that what this is over here? Building in the lower level. So okay. Services are over in this G building area. Career services, financial aid, counseling and advising, student service areas. Awesome. I think B building is primarily science. Science. Labs, okay. A lot of labs there. Yeah. 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 Um, C building, a lot of IT and business. business. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the lower level is uh, uh, workforce and continuing education. I think their CNA program yes. is in the lower yes. level. Administration's in D. Yeah. Okay. And then. And that, that's the president's office, right? Yes. All right. Yes. Or maybe students shouldn't know that. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then D and E um, are primarily academic, like uh, 
arts and humanities, your um, economics, there's a whole mix of things. Mm -hmm. Math tends to be in the upper level of G, that is one academic area there, and, and some of the sciences are still up in the upper level of G. Okay. So F that's is foreign language. F is foreign language. Oh, um, that's what the F stands yeah, for. Yeah, F okay. stands for foreign language, and then J is the library awesome. and the learning center. We're definitely going to go in there. Do you guys know how the sundial works? Well, it depends on where you stand. No, I <laughs> I used to know. I'm going to go try to figure it out. Yeah, but I think good. it's it's all kind of laid out for three o'clock six o'clock and noon and it changes and throughout it changes the year a little bit basically right? by the sun where okay. the sun is on it tells you the time the shadow tells you the time awesome and that was i believe that was created by dave barr if i'm not mistaken oh you really? maybe don't yeah no. oh, okay. i mean I it's know. been here forever it it's has been, been here, here for like three decades at least yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to go see if we can make sense of it. But thank you so much You're for it. You guys knew this area way better than I did. So very helpful. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Lots thank of you. years. Yeah, Lots you of guys years too. Here. <laughs> I know, right? Collectively. All right. So there's this really cool sundial that I want to show you guys. This was here even when I was a student. And I think this is really neat. I haven't looked at it in a while. So I'm going to see if I can make sense of it. But here is the sundial. I can get the camera to turn here. No. Nope. Oh, there we go. It turns this way. Down. Look at this thing. So this, I think it used to even tell you, it could tell you almost the like the day of the year. So this is the sundial here. Gosh. I'm probably going to embarrass myself here because I don't really know. If I can, let's see if I can read that. Can you guys read that back? Oh, there we go. November. Oh, maybe that's noon. Depending on what month it is. And right now it's crossing over. Right now it's crossing over between November and December. And it's close to noon. So maybe it's six o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, so what we're gonna do now, we are going to rock and roll over towards the library and the learning center. And take a look what's going on over there. Isn't this beautiful though? Like, what a great place to learn, soak up knowledge. I love it. I loved it when I was a student here, everyone would hang out. Uh, sometimes people play music and sometimes there's just different events going on everywhere. Love it. Again, this is a uh, G building over here. So this is where registration, financial aid, all that fun stuff. Taking a look. All right, so we're kind of walking through and now we're over on the, I guess this would be the east side of campus. And so you can kind of see, if I can get the camera to turn here. So that's the library right behind me in J building. And then K building is over here. We'll be going there next. And that's like student activities. It's like the big assembly hall. Lots of fun stuff. So we'll just take a quick peek in the library. Show you around. Um, you know, the library's cool. I know some people think like the library, like people don't even read books anymore. They just go on the internet. Well, there's still some pretty cool things that you have access to in the library that you may find helpful. What a beautiful day. It's not, it's not too hot. It is glorious. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not in the Sure. So this is something I'm really excited about. This Friday, there is going to be Macomb's first annual 
eSports tournament. How wild is that? Super Smash Brothers, there's gonna be like 8-bit tournaments. I'm hoping they'll have like Burger Time and Donkey Kong Jr. All right, so here, there's like this really cool mark. Oh, my camera's getting funky. But you can see this cool little market stand. Get some grub, get some coffee. And then I wanted to show you as we enter the library and use our library voices. Look at this mural painted by Marina Damaskinos, who you guys have seen on uh, Matt's class videos and sketchbook challenge. Isn't that beautiful? That is just so cool with the books. Uh, the butterfly is a monarch and the monarch is Macomb's mascot. It's the, it's the Macomb monarchs. And I just love it. It's like information, knowledge is power. Absolutely beautiful. So, all kinds of resources here at the library uh, that you'll find. So obviously all kinds of periodicals. There's more upstairs. There's more downstairs, but also there are computers for you to use. Lots. All kinds of resources. The world is at your fingertips. I love it. Very cool. All right. Um, we're going to mosey on th through to K Building. K Building's fun. All right. Moving on through. We're going to take the back entrance to K building and go upstairs because it'll be quicker. Plus, it sounds like they're doing some landscaping maintenance with loud weed whackers. So we're going to bypass some of that. It's a cute squirrel over there. And uh, it's just beautiful here. I love it. Um, sometimes what I'll do in my figure classes Sometimes the model will come in, be like, oh my gosh, it's such a nice day. It's such a beautiful day out. And I'll be like, hmm, any chance you'd be willing to model outside? With clothes on, of course. And they're like, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. So sometimes my figure classes will meet outside and we'll just draw outside, uh, which is great, which is a lot of fun. Uh, students will sit in the grass or sometimes they'll sit on like a brick ledge. You know, they've got their sketchbooks, their art materials, and it's just like hanging out in nature. Beautiful day like today. I love it. So lots going on, including yard work apparently with the weed whackers, but uh, it's the first day of classes. So there's uh always an energetic buzz you know people feel like it's a new academic year this is going to be the year i'm really gonna put forth the effort and do my best just to show you like look at this as we're about to walk into k building just beautiful scenery all the way around so we're entering upstairs at k building and this is where campus police are actually right through so that over there campus police walking through so there's all kinds of meeting rooms over here uh, including the assembly hall so there's a big 
assembly hall. I'll show you over here. And this is where they're having the eSports tournament this Friday. How you doing? I'm just showing, oh, is this where the eSports tournament's gonna be? Yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Are you any good at video games? Me neither, but you know what? It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. It's gonna be cool. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So that's going on this Friday. We're gonna head downstairs. All right, so a lot of people come through this way. I don't really know what the front of the college is. This is kind of a main, a main area. And over here, there's one of my students waving, what up? And then this is the bookstore. So you can get some art supplies here. They're a little bit more expensive, but you can get your books here. And also, Look at this, here is uh, student services. This is the cafeteria. So you can get some grub and then check this out. Look at this fun place. Whoops, look at this fun place hanging out in here. It's so cool. I loved the cafeteria when I was a student here. This was my hangout in between classes. And I remember I would get nachos and it was the first place. Uh, I didn't have a lot of money back then, but for a dollar, you could get nachos. And you were allowed to put the cheese on yourself. So you could get a bowl, fill it with nachos, and then you could drown those nachos in nacho cheese. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Some people might say, ooh, but wouldn't they get soggy if you use that much cheese? Well, yeah, that's why you have to eat them quick so that they're still crunchy, but you still have endless cheese explosion in your mouth. This is a fun hangout. Super cool, right? Students hanging out. This is student services. We'll see a lot of what they've got going on outside. Oh, look at this, there's even computers. You want some, you want to check your, uh, check your, check your Instagram while grabbing a bite. You don't want to use your phone. There you go. Boom. And there's even, look at over here, there's like, there's like this room where there's like games. Sometimes people are playing video games in here. You can rent out different facilities. Super cool. I love it. Look at this. In the window. Pikachu. All right. Let's see what's going on outside. So there's a lot of clubs that they have at Macomb, and there's a lot of cool options, cool, cool opportunities for students to take part in. So a lot of that information's here, but there are some people set up outside that have... Uh, have some information that we'll take a look at. What's up? How you doing? Good. All right, so we're gonna move on through here. Okay. All right, so what's, I'm gonna ask about this. What is going on here? This looks fun. Looks like there's prizes, highlighter pins, information. All kinds of fun stuff going on. Let's see if we can get someone to tell us a little bit about what's going on. Okay, there's different organizations right here. Hello, how are you doing? Do you mind telling me a little bit about what's going on here? 
okay. it's going to be Monday through Thursday, and today we're giving out free hot dogs, and then we have a bunch of information about all of our upcoming events. Free hot dogs, that's amazing. So tell me about it. This is, I see like Minecraft right here. Yeah. That's, uh, is that for the eSports thing? Yeah, we have an eSports tournament this Friday. Awesome. And then we also have like a gaming club, so we're promoting them. They're tabling down there too. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, we're definitely going to talk to them over there. That's so cool. Yeah, it's, it's so awesome. Cool. So cool. So what are the prizes here? I see like poppets and stuff. Yeah. What's going on with that? So we have like these cool McCombs crunchies, um, our notebooks. These are like little like fidget things. You can like pop it. Yeah. They're good for anxiety, right? Yeah. We have like free t-shirts. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Yeah. Free t-shirts. And it's free, but you have to spin for it, right? Yeah. To, to win a prize? All right, so what? So if I spin, what do I have to do? Just, just spin? I get to spin? Oh my gosh. Are you ready for this? And I got mm, a notebook. Oh my gosh, I love notebooks. That's perfect for me. Yeah, we just have to. We were just. We have to go get more. Okay. Well, I can come back for it. That's okay. I can. We'll I can. Uh, awesome. Yeah, this is gonna be our um, week long activities. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Yeah, by. Awesome. Absolutely. Very cool. Always fun stuff going on. Free hot dogs, you can't beat it. So this is Walsh College right here. And there's also representatives from over here. I see Oakland University over here. I see um, Central Michigan. And I see Wayne State over there. Lots going on. Uh, right here, there's like, uh, there's a Macomb Success Coach Program. That sounds awesome. You know what? Let's go see what's going on here. Cause I see stickers and I love stickers. Hi, I'm Matt Bush. You mind if I talk to you for a second? Sure. Well, uh, what's going on here? Tell us about this. So we are um, part, we're a success coach team. Okay. And what we do is that we help um, disadvantaged students, uh, first time students, basically students that might slip through the cracks without the proper support and resources. Yeah. We help them and make it through school. Awesome. Um, because a lot of times, you know, people want to give up because they don't have what the support that they need or there's, there's something that they needed and they didn't realize that we, we provided it. So they come to us. We make sure um, they know where they can go, whether it's counseling and advising or whether it's um, to um, student options for success. They might need um, help with food or they have no transportation or they need childcare and yeah. that will prevent them from staying in school. Yeah. So we help with those things like that. Or we can just be um, um, a shoulder vent. What's the greatest way if someone wanted to reach out, uh, if they had questions or, or for help, what's the best way they can uh, get a hold of you, or get a hold of your program? They can uh, email us at studentsupport at macomb.edu. Okay. Um, and then also we have, right here we're in the uh, G building. Okay, awesome. Uh, some of us are housed within the counseling advising center and then some of us are downstairs in room 206. Awesome. Do you mind if I hold on to it, if I keep this? Sure. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Excellent. All Take right. care. See ya, yeah. Awesome, very cool. This is like uh, health programs over here. I have to come over here and see what's going on because this looks fun. This right here, look at this. It's like an Instagram thing people can take photos with for the Honor Society. And I gotta know what is going on here. This looks so cool. Is this is this anime club? No, 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 no. This is um, the Ava Club, which is basically a gaming club. No way. Yep. Awesome. Uh -huh. So, are you guys responsible for the esports tournament that's going to be happening? Um, no, but we are helping out with it. Uh -huh. Um, we'll have we'll have like a little side event going on for it. Awesome. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm gonna be here rocking out. I'm gonna prove once and for all that Super Smash Brothers, everyone says there's actual skill to it, to the way you push the buttons. I'm gonna prove everyone wrong just by pushing buttons like crazy, and I am gonna reign supreme and prove once and for all there is no, no, I don't know. I'll probably, probably not do very well, but uh, That's we'll spirit, see. That's though. Yeah. We like that. Awesome.
Oh, look like you're recording, but I want to say hi. Oh, hi. I, I am recording. That's okay. Shirt, oh, no way. Oh, to. my I'm gosh. June. That's awesome. June, hi. Like, oh, my gosh. Awesome. <laughs> are you in one of my classes later? No. Aww. Unfortunately. Aww. It's funny. I literally almost that's... wore my shirt. I'm yeah. like, I don't know if I'll see him, though. Aww. Awesome. <laughs> well, here, say hi real quick. Hi. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you for saying you. hi. Yeah, awesome. I'll well, see you around campus. Yeah, take care. Yeah, you bye. too. All right, well, have a great day. I can't wait. I'll see you guys on Friday. Yep. You guys are competing and stuff, right? Oh, no, I'm, I'm just helping to run just a side helping event. To run it. Okay, yeah. awesome. Awesome. I love your Kermit shirt. That's, uh, that's so great. I love that every time I see that meme, I laugh. So cool. Awesome. All right, see you guys. See ya. All right, so all kinds of stuff going on. Look, at I see over here, there's like trick or treat, there's skate night, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, wow, I, I, I love it here. There's always cool things happening. And, um, you know, it's interesting because I started as a student at Macomb College and um, I've been to a number of schools since then uh, here in Michigan, but also I studied at Art Center and a bunch of different schools in Los Angeles. I've also had guest lectures that I've done at, like at the uh, Pittsburgh Institute of Arts. And um, I gotta say, it was really neat going here first because there's just nothing like it. I love Macomb and this is my home. So this is kind of the center, which way I'm moving this the wrong way. This is the creamy center, if I can get this to turn. This really cool gazebo, and sometimes there are bands that'll play here. And nothing too crazy like folk bands, although I have to say there have been some like rock bands, not big rock bands, but like bands that will just come and, and rock out, which is cool. And then over here, there are these really cool sculptures by David Barr. These have been here since, gosh, way back even when I was a student. And um, just beautiful. Really, really cool. And it's art that just integrates with nature. Love it. So what we are walking to right now, I'm actually not going to show you inside just yet. This is the back of the brand new renovated T building and it's not quite finished yet and that's the reason why I'm not going to take you on a tour here because it's not done so I'm going to wait for that maybe a couple weeks it'll be a little bit more uh, show worthy to kind of show you what's going on here um, so I'm going to wait on that but that is T building and that is where the media and communication arts department is uh, we've got a lot of great programs at this college Listen, Macomb Community College not only is the best community college in Michigan, it is one of the best community colleges in the United States. And we have a lot of great programs, but one of our star programs, don't mind bragging about it, is the Media and Communication Arts Department. It is really cool. As you guys know, we cover creative imaging and illustration, which is the area that I run. But we've also got specialties in animation, uh, motion graphics, or I'm sorry, motion design, design and layout, photography, uh, video production, design and layout, uh, web design. And I must be forgetting something. Collaborative media. Um, all kinds of cool stuff, but I will be taking you through the rest of uh, that building on another date. We're going to wait until a little bit more of it is uh, completed. <laughs> how are you doing? Good. So I just want you to look how beautiful, look how beautiful, just one with nature everywhere. We're going to take a walk alongside, you can kind of see M building over here, which is automotive. We're gonna walk alongside T building and we're not gonna go in just yet. I'm gonna save that for another day. But we're gonna walk towards the Expo Center and uh, wrap up this tour. But um, this school's great. It's amazing and I'll tell you what, because um, it's a community college and most of the you know tuition doesn't cost very much. 
especially if you're a resident of Michigan, especially if you're a resident of Macomb County. So it's very affordable, but what's great about Macomb College is it's, it's, it's not very expensive, but the classes are great. So this is a great place to get your start, to get a feel for what you're into, what you want to do, what kind of career you'd like to have. And I have to say, it worked out great for me because believe it or not, when I graduated from high school, yeah, I was into art and I thought art was cool, but I actually, I was really into music. I wanted to be a rock star. And my parents were like, listen, we'll try to support your music habit, but you have to go to school. You have to go to college. Well, I didn't want to learn music in college because I felt like that was the opposite of rock and roll. That was pretty un-rock and roll-like to take classes to learn how to be a rock star. So I started taking classes um, in art, obviously. But what was interesting is I also had an interest in astronomy. I was thinking, gosh, it would be cool to work for NASA. And actually, speaking of astronomy, way in the distance over here, if I can turn this around, uh, I don't know if you can see it, way in the distance back there, there is a giant observatory telescope. It's not that giant, but it looks really small, obviously, from way over here. But um, what was interesting is uh, I thought I might want to be, I don't know, I was really into the universe and black holes and all that fun stuff. And so I decided to take a class in astronomy because I started wondering, maybe that's where I want to be. Maybe, you know, I'm so into sci-fi and the wonders of the universe and everything. Maybe that's where I need to be. And what was great is I took an astronomy class here at Macomb. And what I learned from that is I do not want to be an astronomer. I have no interest in working at NASA. But it was great because, uh, again, uh, all of our programs here are very cost effective. So it wasn't like, I don't know, um, you know, on a whim thinking, I want to go into astronomy and then like going to U of M or something like that. Uh, that would have been a huge waste if I enrolled in like this really expensive program only to learn it's not what I want to do and then start all over after having spent all that money. So what's great about starting at a place like Macomb is you can kind of feel out different areas and figure out what you want to do, which is awesome. I think it's great. Uh, a great place to get your start. And I'll tell you what, when it comes to an area like Macomb or like Media and Communication Arts, MACA, it's wonderful because it's such a good program. It rivals a lot of the four-year um, universities. And even if you want to go to those universities, there are really good programs to transfer. So you can do the first two years here at Macomb, save a lot of money, and then in most cases, you're placed instantly two years into their four-year school. You saved a lot of money, and I gotta tell you, a lot of times, almost always, our students come back, especially in media and communication arts, and they say, man, I learned so much the first two years with you guys and gals that uh, it was kind of crazy that then going to another school, I almost felt like it was a step down and I didn't learn as much. So right now we are at the Sports and Expo Center. This is really cool. It's this giant auditorium here. So a lot of times the president, the not just the president of the college, the real president of the United States will come here a lot of times when there's uh, uh, big politicians that are trying to become president, they will come here. Uh, there are big comic book conventions that happen at the Sports and Expo Center. Obviously they have sports, the expo here. So lots of opportunities, lots of really cool things that happen. Behind me here is uh, some of the automotive. It's an M building. And I love this place. It's just fantastic. So anyway, if you are um, 
If you're already a student at Macomb, hopefully you learned something and found out about some of our resources. Uh, if you've been here before, but you haven't been here in a while, hopefully you enjoyed seeing some updates. Sorry, there's a big steam shovel uh, coming because we're, we're still under some uh, work in progress stuff with T-Building. And then uh, last but not least, if you're thinking about Macomb, we've got great facilities here. You gotta come check it out. All right, with that, Matt, Oh.